Steven with Parts Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test and replace the thermistor temperature sensor in the Samsung dryer. Tools needed are listed in the description below. Let's get started. The thermistor on this dryer is located on the back side of the blower housing. It measures the temperature of the air flowing through your dryer. The temperature reading is passed to the main control board, which maintains the desired temperature inside the dryer. If the thermistor fails, your dryer may not start or turn off shortly after starting. And on newer models, you may see different error codes displayed on the control panel. The TS error code means it is shorted or the resistance is too low. The TO error code means it is open or the resistance is too high. And the TC or TC5 air codes means it is reading either too high or too low. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the dryer. To get access to the thermistor, we'll need to remove the top cover, door, front frame, lit filter and air duct, front drum assembly, top frame support, belt, and drum. A more detailed disassembly video is linked in the description below. The thermistor is located here on the back side of the blower housing next to a smaller thermal fuse. Now remove the wire connector by wiggling and pulling off. When testing with a multimeter, the resistance value of the thermistor varies depending on its temperature. At room temperature, this thermistor should have a rating just over 10K ohms. Reference this chart showing the resistance values at different temperatures. All thermistors have different resistance scales. So this chart only applies to the part number we're testing in this video. Unlike other sensors and fuses on this dryer, you cannot do a continuity test to check if your thermistor is working. The only accurate way to test is by using an ohms test. We'll be using an auto ranging multimeter to do an ohm test to check the resistance of the thermistor. If you are using an auto ranging multimeter, turn it to the ohm setting. If you have a manual ranging multimeter, you'll need to set it to either the 20K or 40K setting. Now, place one of each of the meter's probes on each of the terminals. A good thermistor should have a rating just over 10K ohms at room temperature. If you have an ohm rating higher or lower than this, you should replace the thermistor. To remove the thermistor, remove the screw. If you have a bad thermistor and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your dryer to make sure you get the correct part. To reinstall the thermistor, insert the top into the slot on the blower housing, followed by the screw. Then reconnect the electrical connector. With the thermistor reinstalled, go ahead, put the rest of the dryer back together, and then test it out to make sure everything's working properly. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things, please consider subscribing.